Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, I think, and I'm rushing around like a mad woman because we're actually popping out this morning to go to the local pumpkin patch to get a picture. They're not actually open yet, but by the time this video goes up, they will be open. It's the one in Dean's hangar, and it's so nice, and I'm so looking forward to it. We're gonna go and take some pictures, get some autumnal content. Ali's, I said content really funny then, content. Um, Ali's coming too. Oh my God, I just gone up both flights of stairs. Oh, oh God. Oh. I love my outfit today, I've just had a huge, I'm sorry, I am so, so unfit. I've just had a huge nasty girl order arrive. It's actually not supposed to go in this video, so I'm not gonna show you all of it. But I am showing you my outfit because this is just so cute and I'm so impressed with this dress. It is so nice and a lot better quality than I thought it would be in terms of like, it's a lot better made and it's a cute autumnal floral print. I've teamed it with some Chloe boots and my Dior saddle bag and I've also put, you can't really see there because of the light, but I've changed the strap for my Chloe Nile strap. Just because I think the big guitar strap wouldn't really go with this outfit. And I really like it and it's made it a lot more versatile. So dress the down bag a little bit. Dress the bag down a little bit so it's not so like statement. I'm taking a jumper and a coat with me as well, obviously, because otherwise I'll get cold. But I thought I would take you with it. I've never been to a pumpkin patch before, so this is really exciting. It was like Carrie's idea to just go and get some pictures there before it opens. And she pulled it out of the bag, so we're gonna go and head down there now and head out on this gorgeous, sunny, autumnal day. If I can get my words out this morning, it's because I'm so excited, okay? So excited. The pheasants are out, yay! Totally missed them because Ali wouldn't stop. What a glorious autumn day. It is so nice, it's frosty. This is what I love about this time of year when it's frosty well, cold, but also sunny. This is what I live for. Are you excited, babe, now that you've not got food in your gob? I have still. Have you? <laughs> Maybe just give me five. <laughs> what are you eating? It's a banana cake. Oh, one of the banana flapjacks. Yeah, we are en route there now, and yeah, I'm just loving today. I'm in a very, very good mood. I've got a good night's sleep. I don't know what was wrong with me last night. I was just, Ali was trying to sort something out on my phone and I was like, I need you to just give me my phone so I can set my alarm because I'm falling asleep. And it was uh, like midnight. No, it wasn't. It was what? like 11.30 and usually I'm like, oh, you know, this is um, early for me. But no, I was literally, I fell asleep for a moment and that was why I was like, I need you to give me my phone so I can set my alarm. But anyway, let's go pick a pumpkin. She said there was 1,800. <laughs> oh, look at these cute little white ones! I like those. Yeah. The white ones are so you. Yeah. The big fat white ones as well. This one's cute. <laughs> the little orange flowers from the vines. You can eat those. Yeah, you stuff them and deep fry them. If you stuff them with cheese, wrap them all up. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. You're having a field day in your pumpkin field. Like Cal says, it's like we're in Stranger Things. Look at that white one. There's Millen's pumpkin. <laughs> If Lydia wouldn't carve it, she'd have like an artist draw her face on it. <laughs> Light a candle to glow from her soul. I feel like you're making a good Grayson. Ah, oh, would I? Would I do such a thing? Marilyn! <laughs> we've come home from the pumpkin patch and it was so windy and so cold. Yeah. So Ali is lighting the fire in the living room 
and we're both going to sit in here with our iPads and work. Perfect. Thanks, babe. This is such a great idea. <laughs> My favourite idea that you've ever had. Is it? Yeah. Good evening everyone. Oh, I've just been sat catching up with YouTube. My video has just gone live as well. My gosh, that was a lot of stuff that I bought in my last video. Even I can't believe it. Hopefully in this video it's just to be a little bit more about coming away and doing stuff with me because yeah, I've had a bit of a chilled week and I feel like I've missed out on so much stuff this week. I missed out on going to Bista Village. Tonight there was a Bulgari event. I need to start saying yes to things. I'm just, I'm so terrible. I'm so terrible. I really am. Because obviously like, I try and have a little bit more time like to myself now and I try not to get too caught up with events and stuff because otherwise I could just spend my life at them. I, I think I find myself saying no a little bit too much and I need to stop doing that. Having said that, next week is a very, very busy week. I've got my meetup, my first, Intimacy Me meetup, which is just a dream. I'm literally wearing Intimacy Me now. I've got their new fibers tops on, which are incredible. Honestly, you feel them and you think that they're gonna be like super like cool and not keep you very warm, but these keep you so warm, so great for like base layers and stuff like that. So I'm loving this. Not loving my face though. I've rubbed all of my makeup off. And then I'm going down to stay at a very amazing hotel literally a hotel that i have wanted to stay at literally it puts like a lump in my throat but um i've wanted to stay at this hotel for a very very long time but you'll hear more about this next thursday but it won't be in that vlog because i'll check in that night and then it'll go to another vlog which is yeah a lot i've got like a, a busy week i'm actually gonna be down in london for like one two three nights in London. I don't often get to stay in London, which is gonna be fun. But tomorrow is a really exciting day. Lumi's cleaning herself in the middle of the floor. Ignore my chocolate wrapper. I don't usually eat chocolate, but apparently I do now. Tomorrow I am really, really excited to be going for a dress fitting with my babe, Miss Kate Halfpenny, the lady who made all of my wedding dresses. I had three wedding dresses and I think that, I think that you only saw, well, I'd say I had three wedding dresses. I had two but i changed my top <laughs> on one of them perhaps in this video i'll show you my three outfits from my wedding i know that that you saw them in, in our wedding video but i never actually like talked you through them maybe i could do that because i keep them hanging in my spare bedroom and i tried them on a couple of weeks ago and they actually fit me still which is amazing because i actually did try them on this time last year and they didn't fit me maybe on saturday we can go through this together but tomorrow i'm heading down to london i have a meeting with De Beers and then i have I've got a meeting with jimmy too with the amazing team there so that's really exciting i just obviously you've been working with them a lot recently which is just a dream come true. And then I have a dress fitting with Kate. I have a gala next week. So yeah, it's gonna be really, really exciting. And I get to wear another one of Kate's dresses. You know that pretty much every time I go to any special events at the moment, Kate dresses me, which is obviously such an amazing thing, but Kate herself, if any of you, and I know that there are so many half penny brides out there, but if any of you have been lucky enough to deal with Kate on your bridal fittings or anything like that, you will know what a special person she is. So I'm really looking forward to going and seeing her and getting to showcase more of her designs. And also, I think it's this is like the perfect context to show you my wedding outfits. So I'll do that on Saturday morning with you. Uh, I'm gonna close things up now after a really lovely day. I think the pictures from the pumpkin patch should be up when they should be on my Instagram tomorrow so I'll pop it on screen so that you can see it but yeah it should be good I'm in a really good mood Ali's out at Nando's with his friends and I've just obviously been curling up on the sofa but I need to do some tidying up and then going to bed I think I knew this was going to happen to my iPad Pro case it's just going to get foundation fingerprints all over it. I need to give that a clean. But I thought I'd show you this. So my iPad is obviously like where I do everything from and where I like just keep up to date with everything. The only thing I've realized is I can't push my YouTube videos live from it. Maybe I need to get the studio app. I'll download that instead. So this is like my lifeline at the moment and I just keep everything on there. It's also got my calendar which is like my schedule. So all of my appointments go into my calendar. And then this is like my content creation file. This is my Harry & Co. Perfectly Planned 2019. I don't use my iPad Pro to 
like plan my content because I need to like write it down and scribble stuff out and brainstorm and stuff. So this hold, holds like my content plan, especially for YouTube where I plan all my videos and understand what has to go where. So every day I'm kind of like, I have this like pile of electronics and pads that I carry around the house with me. So I have this, I have my iPad Pro, I have my camera, which you guys are on. And then I also have my iPhone and this is like my little stuff that I have to carry everywhere around my house with me all the time. <laughs> this is like where everything happens. My whole business is ran from all of this stuff. That was such a cool story, bro. Me and my tired stories. I'm gonna go and do my skincare as well tonight. By the way, I used a 1% retinol last night all over my face and I survived, so. Yeah, we've moved up in the world. But yeah, skin is looking good. I did have a little bit of a breakout earlier on this week. And so it's just kind of healing up. Sorry, my phone's just lit up and now I look like I'm like, oh. I've literally just ranted at you for God knows how long. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning for a fun filled day of meetings and dress fittings. And yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday and I am dressed after not the best night's sleep. It was just one of those nights where I tossed and turned, only through my own fault, but I'm up and I'm awake and I'm feeling fine. My dress is the dress that I wore yesterday. This is the one from Nasty Gal, but I just wanted to wear it today, to be honest. I really liked it and I only wore it to shoot in yesterday and I got changed as soon as I got home. So I thought that I would wear this today. It is the most miserable day today, but... <laughs> Rains out, leg, legs out, is that how the saying goes? I have no idea. But I've got my Jimmy Choo boots on, I've got my Louis Vuitton uh, capucines and my Max Mara coat. This is my outfit for meetings today. First stop is De Beers and then Jimmy Choo and then Kate Halfpenny for the win. <laughs> my hair needs a wash so I've just slicked it down. In fact, I'm gonna put some more hairspray on it and I've popped some amber musk on and in my bag, where is it? See, hand musk perfume of the day. I'm wearing a L'Oreal lipstick as well, one of the ones that I got at Paris Fashion Week, so I've got that on. And I'm wearing the new NARS eyeliner. They sent me a nude colored eyeliner. I can stop putting concealer in my waterline now. But anyway, I'm gonna get going, so let's head down to London. Good morning, anyone for tea? No, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, mm -hmm. your skin is glowing. Thank you. It's because someone got me into being an absolute savage with acids. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Turkey. Okay. I like your dress. Thank you. I like yours. We it's like the first time ever that I'm wearing a dress that's more expensive than yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's tapering this moment. I know, it won't happen again. <laughs> Santa! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just getting to Bond Street now, so first stop is De Beers, and we're gonna head inside and meet the team. I'm so excited for this. Carrie's told me I'm not allowed to go shopping afterwards though, but it's Bond Street. Why do you always have to poop on my party? You, you're kind of responsible for keeping this street going, girl. Yeah, yeah, Especially single on a Friday. Friday. <laughs> on a Friday. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. And if there's anything you want to try out, just shower and make it. Your face just then. <laughs> Might be a while. <laughs> 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 <Maybe we'll laughs> <call it. laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we should have a big trying session when you finish. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Because I don't interrupt you. Yeah. It's fascinating. Just let us know yeah. whatever you want. I'm like keeping like a mental note. This is trying not to find everything. Second most important. Yeah. <laughs> the quality. No. Oh gosh, um, you tell me. Ethical. The cut. The cut. Ah. 
that is what makes the diamond Most shine. people will come to us say, does it have a GIA? The GIA is the Gemological Institute of America, who re produce a report yes. for every diamond. Yes. Right. About 10 years ago, they arrived at this, what they call a triple excellent cut grade. So that means the cut, the polish, the symmetry, all have to have a certain specific. We have a piece of machinery, I'm going to show you now. Oh wow. So there's a, a column of light. So basically what you see within the flash of an eye, in a millisecond, this is showing every single facet coming into fire life and brilliance, the beauty of the diamond. Every single diamond that we sell above 25 points, a quarter of a carat, we're looking at 16 sets of facets on every single one. When you have diamonds polished, you never let them touch each other because they'll damage each other. But in the rough, you can play with them. So that's Mother Nature at its finest. If you had two diamonds like this, and I put them in my hand and they touched, they would... They would wow. Because scratch. you can only cut diamonds with a diamond. Yes, yeah. Millen. I found my new engagement ring. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> darling. Going to buy it for me. Oh, you're a lucky, lucky man. <laughs> Your partner's going to love me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believe this is... Wait, I don't know. Holy just... smokes. Just... <laughs> yep, remove the one from Ali. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, you're in. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is amazing. It's breathtaking. I'll take it. Let's <laughs> pack it up. Oh my god, he's gonna hit me. <laughs> Look at him. Well. Is this a gloss finish or a satin finish you've got? <laughs> Oh, um, I, I don't know because I actually ended up painting the walls with two different finishes of paint and I, so I kept putting layers on I was like, why is this not working? <laughs> okay, we are currently walking down Bond Street. Carrie's given me 10 minutes to head into Dior and see if I can find a bag. I so should not be doing this, but I, I feel like, you know when you just feel like you want to buy a bag? That's what I'm doing. Okay? Well, it takes 10 minutes to pay in Dior. <laughs> That's um, my plan. So I'm, she can go in and I can make her leave straight away. <laughs> I'm also vlogging on my iPhone now because I haven't bought another battery. I put it on charge last night trying to remember. So I'm going to see how this goes because honestly, I would prefer this if I could vlog on here. So we're going to head down to Dior now and have a look. I didn't buy anything. I looked at a classic black kind of work bag that will fit my iPad in. And I think that's probably a bag that I would buy second hand because it's obviously been around for like quite a while. But we are not zooming across London because I think there is an Extinction Rebellion protest somewhere. So yeah, it's a little bit slow, but we're heading there. We're on our way, Jimmy Choo, we're on our way. We are back at my wedding dress shop and I'm so excited. Oh, it makes me so happy coming back here. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it looks different. Why does it look different? Lots of new pieces. Yeah. Lots of new pieces. Oh, look at this. Yeah. It makes me so happy. So cute. So we have just arrived to Halfpenny and I've got all of these gorgeous dresses to try on. So I need a dress for the gala dinner and then I'm looking at potentially wearing this tux for the press event as well. I am so excited. Oh, it feels like it's my wedding again. I love coming in here. It smells the same. It is just like, it's so nostalgic and all I really want to do is just put on my wedding dress, but I'm going to show you that later on. I think I'm going to start with this one though. This is so nice. Oh, villain. Oh, I love this. This is giving me all the like memories as well. I know, coming out that I know. Like, Tonight I'm going to be a bride. <laughs> <laughs> the back is oh incredible oh, as yes. well. Oh, Millen, there oh, we yeah, go. Yeah, Done yeah. and dusted in one go. When does that ever happen? Well, you've got the train. I know you're going to try them on anyway, but when it's like with your wedding dress, it was yeah. the early one. No, I cannot handle the stress. <laughs> I can't handle it, let alone you. <laughs> yeah, I don't even need to bother with the ivory. No, no, if you is... want to, but I think that colour's amazing on you. This is yeah. the colour. And yeah, just with your hair colour and everything, I think it's perfect. And the back looks it's insane. Like 
Yes. Every time I'm like, I don't think she can design anything better. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> this is just amazing. It's what she does. Yeah. Very happy. Perfect. <gasps> cool. Let's be doing another thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you like this one? I really I do like this, this one. It's almost like... The simplicity of yeah. it is really beautiful. I don't know. I do think it's still the other one. Really? 100%, okay. but I think the simplicity of this is stunning. Shocking, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's annoying. Did you hear the surprise? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you look... Yeah, you do look insane. Which... One, do you guys think? I think the other one. Yeah. One. Okay. Yeah, 100%. I think feel like you can. Um, I can definitely wear this at any time. Or something time. else, maybe something. Will I get married again? <laughs> the other one has something. It's still got the wow. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. That's good. This is the. Yeah. This yeah. is like the most elegant person in the room. That's the yeah. most insane. You're gonna walk in dressed gonna person be, in the room. Yeah. I love it though. Yeah, you look beautiful. Oh my. Oh, shut up. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. I think I would need the blazer fitted more, I think. But even... A little, but it's it's not... I mean, we own it quite a lot of time. Oh, then... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a full-on crocodile clip. Even that looks incredible. That's cute. Like that? Yeah. Even if I just had maybe the jacket to, like, throw over... No, I think this... Actually, with the jacket thrown over my shoulders, I really like. Like this. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, I love these trousers. They're amazing. They are so nice. Happy? Yeah. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Always is with Kate's stuff. Yeah. It's like, it's going to look fab done. <laughs> I love it. No, you look great. But we've just finished up my dress fitting with Halfpenny and basically it was just establishing what dress I wanted to wear. Where are we going? This way. And I literally tried on the first dress as usual with Kate and it is just amazing. I just tried on another one for fun and that was amazing as well. Next time I'm going to come in and have everything fitted and it should, well, I should feel a million dollars basically. But now we've made it so that we can get home super early. I can't remember what I was going to say. We're gonna get the quick train home. No, I did say that. Oh, uh, time for wine. Oh, also, <laughs> time for wine. Also established that it's time to get married again. Yay! No. Yay! No. Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is a miserable, miserable day today. That's why I have my lights on and a ring light on, although I feel like this ring light isn't really doing anything. It kind of makes it harder to see from where I'm sitting. <laughs> I was supposed to vlog on Saturday, but there was a rather swift change of plan and I wasn't able to because I was spending the, the, the like majority of the day with my friends and sometimes there are just times with your friends that you don't vlog and I didn't do that. So I took the day off vlogging on Saturday, but it has meant I'm like a little bit behind schedule now. My Sunday, I was very hungover because we went out, out, like out, out. And it was a great, like great weekend. Spent all of the day just like slothing on the sofa, watching YouTube videos. I think I might prop you up a little bit more. Yeah, we can. There we go. So I was just slothing on the sofa, I ate loads of chocolate, I ate so much crap. Like I actually feel gross about how much rubbish I ate. And then now it's Monday and I'm gonna finish off what like this vlog has become because I put a picture up of one of my dress fittings with Kate recently uh, that you saw in this vlog. And someone was like, hmm, trying on engagement rings and wedding dresses in, in one day. And I was like, oh yeah, that's so weird. Like I kind of acknowledged it, but I didn't realize how weird that was. So yeah, I thought that this was a really cool opportunity to talk you through my three outfits from my like wedding weekend thing. I keep them all hung up in the spare bedroom, my favorite room. And I thought this would be fun because I tried them on not long ago. And I think I said this already, but I, I fit into them still, which was great because I didn't this time last year. So that was, that was great that I'm like back to my, my happy sort of area of weight. So yeah, I'm going to get myself ready. I'm going to do my makeup, just nothing fancy because I actually have another vlog that I start once I've shown you this and it is the start of a very busy time. 
so I will bring you up to speed in my next vlog on that one but this one is all randomly about wedding stuff I feel like when it was like wedding season and like so many of our friends were getting married in fact I think there's some of our friends that are getting married this week all I wanted to do was just like put on my wedding dress and just prance around my house and I actually did that one day so <laughs> It's just a lovely time of year wedding season and I feel like we didn't really like we didn't really get wedding season During our wedding because even though people do get married at that time of year like Christmas There's not loads like there is in summer and so I was like mm, Can't feeling this wedding season. So yeah, this is my little five minutes to be a part of wedding season because I never got that I'm gonna get myself all judged and ready and then we're gonna play wedding dress try on Day. What a way to start the week. Makeup and hair is done for the day. And considering how I felt this morning, I actually don't look too bad. So happy Monday. My dressing gown is a little bit minging because it's got foundation and bronzer and fake tan on the collar. I'm going to be wearing this today when I have a fake tan well a spray tan later on so that's why i've got this one out but it's just stained this just doesn't come out so it's not that it's dirty it's just it's stained okay but dressing room is tidy apart from these pieces from nasty gal i'm taking those with me on a trip but everything is nice and organized so let's go down and find my wedding dress so this is the room, obviously you know this as Lynx's room, and in this cupboard over here, this is great storage for my wedding dresses. We've also got lots of other bits in there for the moment. These are some pieces that we got from HomeSense that we need to put up. And there's also some mirrors in here. So let's get the first dress out and on. Oh my gosh, that's my veil, okay. Um, oh, right. I can't believe I get to put this on today. This is like the best day ever. All Monday should start with me prancing around my house in my wedding dress. That's just how things should start. I'm gonna take my top with me as well so that I can show you that. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Should I show you the first outfit? Yeah, let's do it in order. Right, okay, so those are out. Let's take the outfit that I wore for the first evening oh yeah this is the outfit that I wore for the first like evening when everyone arrived to our wedding venue and then I'll show you my actual wedding dresses okay that's a much better idea these Jimmy Choo shoes were what I wore for the first evening I also wore these for my hen party as well so I got a lot of wear out of these in terms of a wedding shoe these were the same shoes that my sister-in-law wore on her date as well they are actually really really comfortable and super like flattering on so I'll pop those on with my first outfit so this was the outfit that I feel like no one actually saw from my wedding because unfortunately our photographer got stuck like in traffic or something like that. I can't remember exactly what happened, but he didn't, like we had one videographer and photographer coming the night before, but it did mean that we sort of got to relax and just enjoy ourselves, but it meant that I didn't get a picture of this outfit. And this is a pair of trousers True to Halfpenny style, she does a lot of separates and this is one of them. That's kind of what drew me to her designs other than the fact that she is the ultimate babe anyway. This was sort of the, the option to tie in my more tailored side of my style, especially in winter. I'm always a lot more structured and tailored in the winter time and although I did try on a few structured wedding dresses, I didn't want to go with that in the end. I came up with this option to wear something a little bit more structured but still feminine the night before. So these are huge, huge trousers, so comfortable. Then I've got a little bow that ties at the back and then this is a separate top and this is all stretchy as well so it's super like comfortable. I didn't feel restricted at all. On the evening this was all tucked in properly so you never like saw that part of my tummy poking out there but it has this beautiful flattering knot detail to the front and it went over on my arms like this I love this and I love the fact that I got to wear such a different style as well because that's the thing with your wedding you kind of feel like you don't get 
the opportunity to wear as many different styles of wedding dresses as you want. So that's why I'm always such an advocate for having as many different outfits as you can comfortably afford or that you want basically that you can have because I know that obviously wedding dresses are expensive and outfits are expensive but I've been wanting to show you this full outfit properly for ages. I still love these trousers. I actually also have them in black. Kate amazingly did me a pair from her um, black collection, the black edit, which is the same as this and just absolutely stunning. Now these, from the last time, it's been a month since I tried these on. Since then, these now fit perfectly. So I was a little bit like tightly squeezed into them last time. Now they fit perfectly. So I'm definitely like in my normal sort of shape that I would be because I fit into these. So I'm happy with that. Feeling good about all of those spin classes that I'm doing early in the morning. <laughs> The shoes are obviously my Jimmy Choo ones. I've got to say that these ones have lasted so much better than my actual wedding day ones. My, my actual wedding day ones got completely ruined. I'll show you those in the next outfit. It looks like a jumpsuit, which obviously you'll know I love a jumpsuit. So this is just so special and I love it and I'm just so excited to be wearing it. This is the best morning ever. <laughs> Oh, one thing I wanted to add as well, also I've turned the light off behind me because I feel like that was a little bit distracting. Now you can see the colour a lot better and just how beautiful it is. But I had the trousers, of course, to the floor. They just literally kiss the floor. And as you know, I love my trousers to go to the floor, especially if they're wide like this. They didn't get like torn, nothing. So this was amazing and I loved it. I felt so tall and like sassy in them so I just wanted to point out that again another factor of my style was the length of these trousers and how they go to the floor. I think this top is available online. Any of the stuff that I can see that is available on net porte I will link because Kate does sell on net porte and a number of the items that I've worn for my wedding they are featured on net porte so if I can find anything I'll link it in the description box. <laughs> So, <laughs> this is the outfit that I wore for our ceremony and for our like main photo shoot. This was a last minute decision, like literally I had two months until I was getting married and I have a different top, which you will see next. And I just felt like that top was really good for the evening and I wanted something a little bit more covered for the actual ceremony, something a little bit more, what's the word, like demure, I think that's the word, and that was what I wanted for my ceremony, so I set about looking on Pinterest, and both Kate and her team and I worked together, which was not a plan either, but we worked together to design this top, which is now called The Gordon, because at the time her collection was all named after like men's names, and obviously Ali's surname was Gordon, now it's Millen Gordon, but that's what this top is now called, because it was the brainchild of all of us working together to get me my perfect top my ceremony. Now I have steamed this, I could spend a lifetime steaming this because it has obviously been in storage in my guest bedroom, but this was my skirt and this was the, the second piece that I ever tried on. So Kate was my first ever wedding dress appointment and I ended up going with her, but this dress, it was so funny and I hope I never offended her because I said that I tried it on as a joke. I didn't mean I tried it on as a joke, I meant I tried it on as like, you know, just a bit of fun to do that typical wedding wedding dress, like go for the biggest, boldest wedding dress. And I put this on and I was like, oh my goodness, I feel incredible. I feel incredible in this. And so it was almost like if I hadn't done that, I would never have got the kind of dress that I actually felt amazing in because I thought I wanted something quite fitted and quite almost like lingerie like. And I didn't feel amazing in those particular styles. I know that so many people look incredible in them. I just, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't what I wanted in the end. And by trying this on, it literally was just one of those like, oh my gosh, I, I thought that this was what I would never have wanted to wear. And then I tried it on and it was the only thing that I could think about. And it was the one that I wore. And when I walked out, everyone just went, <gasps> and I'll never forget that. It was just, it was such a moment. So I wanted to ensure that it felt like I wore my wedding dress for the whole day. And this skirt to me was like my wedding dress. So we did like a top change. So I wore this until the dinners and then I quickly went upstairs and changed into a different top. Obviously we had a winter wedding, so it was much better to have sleeves and be a little bit more covered up because it was so, so cold. I mean, we had the most perfect weather. It was frosty and sunny and the sunrise, oh my God, the sunrise that morning was 
unreal and for the back we did an extra like it's so hard i'll show you in the cutaways on the side but it's so it's so hard to show you because it's so low but yeah we wanted a super swooping back top and then a really really elegant neckline and um it had these like pleats here well it still has these pleats here which was super flattering and then with the big poofy skirt it just kind of accentuated this and there's a few shots in my wedding pictures from behind that i'm just like wow in this particular skirt this was like bespoke made for me i actually have a time lapse of them making all of the circles that go on here and i had extra poof Put in mine so i think it's slightly less poofy the one that you would buy unless you want extra poof but mine i went for a lot more ruffles at the back so it kind of like stuck out a little bit more if that makes sense at the back you can kind of see it there that it's sort of like more it sort of sits quite flat at the front but then it's like oh at the back <laughs> <laughs> party in the back as I say then for my shoes I had some Manolo Blahnik hangisis made these are like quite low I can't remember the actual heel height of these and I had these made out of the exact same Duchess satin that is on my dress so these were custom made for me unfortunately we partied until four in the morning nearly five in the morning and it got quite messy and my shoes tell the full story of that so they're not a pair of shoes I can wear again but they are a pair of shoes with a lot of memories attached to them so that was like that was lovely even though I was absolutely devastated when I um, saw them in the morning I was like oh my god what did I do to my shoes so this was the kind of benefit of wearing separates for your wedding day is that you could change things up but still feel like you're wearing your dress and then when I wanted to dance if I can just show you when I wanted to dance there was a little loop underneath my dress like so. So I could hook the end of my dress around my wrist like so and I could pick it up and stop people from dancing on it. But to be honest, I just loved the way it looked trailing behind. So I think there's a few little ripped bits of organza back there because I was just swooshing around all evening with my long train and didn't have a care in the world. I still love this as much as two years ago when I got to wear it and it's just it's the dream. I love it. And I still feel so lucky that I got to work with Kate on this and just come up with like my dream three outfits basically. And yeah, oh my God, I want to do it all over again. <laughs> and then this was my third and final look. And this was for the dinner and the reception and this is where I got to have a little bit of fun so this was initially going to be my wedding dress for the whole entire day and it was only sort of like two months before that I changed my mind and I wanted something a little bit more covered up so I knew that this was for the party and for the drinks so I didn't mind it being a little bit you know <laughs> <laughs> but it is definitely quite low cut and I was very very lucky that I didn't fall out of it to be honest but it stayed in place I felt so comfortable in it I didn't feel like I was going to fall out of it but I think when you look at it it looks like it could be a little bit risque especially when the back is as low as it is but again I'll show you in the cutaways at the side and this is all really delicately beaded and honestly it's got lace underneath it and then it's got this beautiful beading detail and I just I couldn't believe how beautiful this was when I when I got to try it on but it definitely felt like the party top to me and oh, it's just it feels amazing wearing it and also the fact that I can still fit into it I can't believe it this is just everything I kind of didn't realize that I hoped my wedding dress would be because I always thought my wedding dress would be a certain way and I ended up being completely different and I couldn't imagine it being any more perfect I just oh oh my god this is, it gets me so excited very 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 happy about this and I'm getting to show you it again because I just I just loved it and I know that I've met so many of you when you've been having your half penny appointments for your wedding dress and it's just unbelievable like one girl I actually met as she picked up her dress I met another girl when she was coming for a fitting and it means so much to me that so many of you have gone on to go and see Kate and have Kate as your wedding dress designer because she is such an exceptional human I feel like I will have said that so many times that you guys trust me enough to go and see someone for such an important day in your life is such a compliment as well and if I could do it all over again I wouldn't change a blooming thing <laughs> 
Oh, and also I wanted to say that I did have a veil. I did wear a veil for the ceremony, which I loved. I had a double veil, so it was really, really long. And then it had like a shorter one if I wanted to put it over my face, which gave it some, some foof to it and it just kept getting caught on things but I still would definitely have had a veil. Mine was just a very simple like lace veil. It wasn't anything like intricately done. I wanted that quite simple because the dress is so interesting in itself. I can get that out of my storage, sorry guys. But yeah. So that is it for this vlog. I totally didn't intend on doing this video now. Actually, I had intended on doing this video for our anniversary and posting it during Vlogmas but I felt like it didn't really fit in much better than me going for another fitting with Kate. So I decided to do this little try on here, but yeah, totally wasn't intended for this time of year, basically. But going and seeing her got me totally in the mood and I thought such a like organic little story to move into. So yeah. That was why, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. And if maybe you haven't seen my wedding video, I will link it in the description box down below. Perhaps for our anniversary instead, we can put out our slightly longer version of our wedding video so you can see more of the speeches, which I think would be quite nice. It's about 20 minutes. And I think the one that we put out was about four minutes. I'm not sure, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing my wedding dresses and I hope you've enjoyed coming with me on my vlogs and now I'm going to pick straight up with a new vlog so I'll see you in my next one.